why don't you talk about your first experience of uh, going to Prairie Sun, why you wanted to go to Prairie Sun, taking the tour, working there? So, so when I was a kid, very, very Wait, you, What He was talking. You should give him some time so he edits on talk right yeah, at the end. He's going to edit just fine. Yeah, but you, he stopped fucking breathing. You jumped right in his last breath. Give him some space. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This so will make the uh, director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was a kid, very, very young, much younger than Tony, I heard <laughs> Edge of Insanity. And uh, it, was, it was the album right there. And I remember looking on the back of it and seeing that it was recorded at Prairie Sun Studios. Didn't know where Katati was, never heard of Katati, nothing like that. Didn't know what Prairie Sun was. And then I heard all the other albums by all the great musicians that recorded there. And um, what went, I ended up moving up to Santa Rosa and living about 15 miles from Prairie Sun and decided I wanted to go by there and check it out. When I drove by, they had a gate. I couldn't get in. They wouldn't let me in. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I figured the way to get in is to call them on the phone and ask how much they would charge per day and then find out if I can get a studio tour. So I actually got in, I remember driving up the gate and I remember thinking to myself, like, I wonder who's here recording. Like who, who, who it was nobody. It was an off day. There was nobody there. But I thought, this is amazing. All these great albums are recorded here. The most important thing about music is being able to contribute to an art that you didn't start. So it's an honorable thing if somebody's influenced by something that you've done, because after all, what you're doing is contributing to something that is an art. And if they get into the arts too, that's a great thing. It's like you're part of that whole process. And I think it's a, it's a great feeling. It's, you know, it's, it's really good. It's a really good feeling. So I, uh, I embrace it. I really do. But we can still do it because our heroes are still doing it, you know? Oh, that's nice. I mean. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> no, it's true though. Um, because I feel the same way as you do. But, you know, one of the greatest things about being part of the whole movement was meeting and working with so many other musicians that are guys that I looked up to. So I felt like, you know, at the same time, I've told you that a thousand times, right? Here I am sitting with, you know, any great artists that I've worked with. And I'm like, I admired your music. I, you know, and here you are, you know, sitting on a, in a, in a one-on-one thing and, you know, work with, uh, you know, Dennis Chambers, the same thing happens. You work with Bunny Burnell, you work with, you know, George Lynch, you work with, you know, you Steve Smith, you know, you work with Billy Sheehan. And I'm like, I used to, I used to watch you, you know, and here, here we are working together. And, and you, you, that's a good thing. That's a good, that's a really good thing. Cause it's like spreading the, you know, the whole, the whole wealth, the whole reason why you know, you do what you, you do. You feel like you're on the right track of, of getting something done. Do you feel, do you feel like that too? You want to, exa- you know, tell us a little bit more about that? Or? Here's the thing. I didn't ask you was getting, asking me a question. We're getting ready to wrap it up. So yeah. however you want to, you know, because the very end of the movie is going to be everybody's, you know, kind of, you're going a little bit deeper. You know what I mean? Oh, but, oh really? Okay. So, <laughs> let's go deep, Tony. Let's go, go deep. deep. Let's go deep. Maybe I better get my knit cap on. So, he'll cut that in. Do you ever feel well, that I, way? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I mean, I played with a lot of my heroes, you know, growing, you know, the heroes that I grew up listening to, you know, and, but I mean, you know, guys like, you know, Cliff Williams and, you know, Simon Kirk and guys like that. And, yeah. and you know, I mean, and it's Mike Mangini and, and growing up, I mean, it's like you listen to their stuff and you, and you, you wonder like, you know, how did they get to where they are? Yeah. You know, like, how did they get to record an album? How did they get to play with who they play with? And then you get the opportunity to play with them. Right. You know? And then you think, I wonder if that influenced somebody else to think the same thing. Hmm. You know, and it's just cyclical. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. You know? But as artists, that's what you do. Right? That's you, you, you create and you hope to inspire and you hope to, you know, no matter if it's a little kid or a student or whatever, you know, you're the teacher. <laughs>